Is your CPU not performing at its best? In this guide, I'll show you how to unlock its full potential for smoother gameplay and faster processing. We'll go through essential tweaks like setting up performance tracking, unlocking all processors, adjusting power settings, and more. Follow these simple steps to boost your CPU's speed and efficiency. Let's dive in. Gear Up Booster is a best tool to reduce your ping while playing games. It works with both wired and wireless connections. Download it for free from my description and enjoy smoother gameplay with lower ping. Step 1. Setting up a performance tracking tool to improve CPU usage. To improve CPU performance. While gaming, we will set up a performance tracking tool. Start by clicking on the Windows search bar, typing performance and selecting performance monitor from the results. Once the monitor opens, navigate to the left sidebar, find data collector sets and double click to expand it. Next, click on user defined, then right click inside this section and choose new, followed by data collector set. A window will pop up asking for a name. Type CPU boost in the field. After that, select create manually and click next to continue. On the next screen, you will see different options. Make sure to check the box for performance counter, then click next. Now it's time to add a performance counter. Click add and a new window will appear with multiple categories. Select processor from the list. Below that, you will see available instances. Choose the highest number listed for your system. After making your selection, click next, then finish to complete this step. At this point, you should see CPU boost added to the list, but it will be marked as stopped. To activate it, right click on CPU boost and select start. Once it starts running, you can close the window and the performance tracker will continue to operate in the background, helping optimize your CPU performance while gaming. Step two. Boost CPU performance by unlocking all processors. To get the best performance from your CPU, you can get all the files I use in the pack from my official website. I've provided the link in the description. We will use an application called Park Control. First, download and install Park Control, then open the application. Once it's open, scroll down and select the performance profile you prefer. Click on Bitsum Highest Performance to make sure your CPU is running at its full power. Next, you need to adjust some settings. Make sure the following options are disabled and set to 100%. Parking AC, Parking DC Frequency, Scaling AC Frequency, Scaling DC. After that, find the option called Bitsum Dynamic Boost and ensure it is enabled. This feature turns off unused CPU threads when doing light tasks, like browsing the web, but activates all threads when gaming, allowing for maximum performance. Finally, open power options on your computer and select Bitsum Highest Performance as your active power plan. Double check that all values are set to 100% to ensure the best FPS and system responsiveness. Once everything is configured, click Make Active, then Apply to save your changes. This will help your CPU run at its highest efficiency, especially during gaming. Step 3. Improve CPU performance using Throttle Stop to further enhance your CPU's performance. You can get all the files I use in the pack from my official website. I've provided the link in the description. You need to use an application called Throttle Stop. First, open the Tools folder on your computer and navigate to the Throttle Stop folder. Then, run the Throttle Stop application. Once the application is open, you will see different power plans, including performance, game, internet, and battery mode. To get the best gaming experience, select the game power plan and check the high performance box. Among all the available power plans, always choose high performance for the best results. Next, locate the settings labeled clock mode, set multiplier, and speed shift settings. Do not change any values here. Instead, simply click on disable turbo to prevent your CPU from unnecessary overheating. After that, click the turn on button and then save your changes. Finally, make sure to keep throttle stop running in the background at all times. This will allow it to continuously optimize your system's performance whenever you turn on your PC, ensuring smooth and stable gameplay. Step 4. Remove telemetry for better privacy and performance. You can get all the files I use in the pack from my official website. I've provided the link in the description. To enhance both privacy and performance, you need to remove unnecessary background tracking telemetry from your system. Start by downloading the required file from my official website, link in the description. Once downloaded, open the application called ONO ShutUp10. After opening the application, apply only the recommended settings to avoid making unnecessary changes to your system. If the program asks you whether you want to create a restore point, you don't need to, as we already created one earlier. Keep in mind that this tweak might affect clipboard history and storage functions. If you notice any issues after applying the settings, you can easily use the Undo All Changes option to restore your system to its previous state. Finally, when prompted, check the box for Do Not Show This Message Again, then click OK. That's it. Your system will now have improved performance and better privacy without unnecessary background tracking. In this step, I'm going to show you the best tool to get stable ping while gaming. So first, download the Gear Up Booster tool from the official website using the link in the description. After downloading, install it on your PC. 
Once installed, you'll see the Gear Up Booster interface. The first thing you'll need to do is log in with your Facebook or Google account. On the Home tab, you'll find all the games installed on your PC. If you go to the Games tab, you can browse thousands of games available for optimization. To optimize your network and FPS, return to the Home tab and select the game you want to boost. For example, I'll select Fortnite. Click the Boost button and the tool will begin optimizing the game. It will automatically find the best server for you. Next, you'll need to choose your server region. Select the nearest server for the best connection. In my case, the Middle East server works best. After selecting the server, close the window. Now go to the End tab where you'll see a list of servers available in the Middle East. Choose the nearest one or let GearUp automatically pick the best server for you. I recommend setting it to automatic for the best results. Finally close the window and launch your game using Gear Up Booster. This will help you optimize Fortnite or any other game for lower ping and higher FPS. Step 5. Boost CPU performance by optimizing GPU priority. You can get all the files I use in the pack from my official website. I've provided the link in the description. In this step, you'll learn how to improve the performance and stability of your hardware using MSI Utility. First, download and open the MSI Utility to access its main interface. Once the program is open, look for your GPU model in the list. Since we are optimizing the GPU to reduce lag, check the MSI box next to your GPU model and set the interrupt priority to high. Next, locate your integrated GPU, such as Intel. Again, check the MSI box next to it and set the priority to high. After making these changes, click Apply to save your settings, then close the MSI utility. These adjustments will allow your GPU to communicate more efficiently with your system, improving performance and reducing input lag while gaming. Step 6. Optimize Windows for Best Performance To start, search for Adjust the Appearance and Performance of Windows in the Windows search bar and open the Performance Options window. Once it opens, select Adjust for Best Performance to disable unnecessary visual effects. Next, check the boxes for smooth edges of screen fonts and show thumbnails instead of icons to keep text readable and preview images visible. Click Apply to save these settings. Now go to the Advanced tab in the same window. Look for Processor Scheduling, then select Adjust for Best Performance of Programs to ensure that Windows prioritizes active applications. Finally, click OK to confirm the changes and improve your system's efficiency. Step 7. Disable HPET to prevent stuttering and FPS drops. To improve system performance and prevent FPS drops, you need to disable an unnecessary system component called High Precision Event Timer HPET. First, right-click on the Start button and select Device Manager. In the Device Manager window, find System Devices, then look for High Precision Event Timer HPET, in the list. Right-click on it and select Disable. Disabling HPET can help eliminate stuttering and frame drops in games, making your FPS more stable. Since HPET controls certain timing events, turning it off can allow your system to run more smoothly without unnecessary interruptions. Step 8. Unlock all CPU processors for maximum performance. To ensure your CPU is using all its available processors, press the Windows key and search for System Configuration, then open it. Once inside, navigate to the Boot tab, then click on Advanced Options. In the new window, check the box for Number of Processors, then select the highest number available from the drop-down menu. This setting forces your CPU to use all of its cores, which improves processing speed, system responsiveness, and gaming performance. Once selected, click OK, then apply, and exit the menu. By following these steps, you can maximize your CPU and GPU performance, reduce lag, and improve overall system efficiency for a smoother gaming experience. Enjoy your optimized PC.